In this trig review, we're going to use two sides that are be given in order to find out the remaining side and angles. Now this particular problem, we're given a side C, which is the hypotenuse, at 15.0 meters. Side B is 8.0 meters, and that's all the information we're given. But with that, we're going to be able to find out phi, and we're going to be able to find out theta, and the remaining side A. Let's start out with trying to find out um, one of the angles, either phi or theta. Well, to do that, if I look at my trig functions, we have the sine of any angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Now, there's three variables, the sine of the theta, the opposite side, and the hypotenuse length. If I know any two of the three, I can find out the third variable. Let's use this one here. Phi has an opposite of 8.0 meters and the hypotenuse of 15.0 meters and is given. So the sine of phi is equal to the opposite 8.0 meters divided by the hypotenuse, which is 15.0 meters. As you see from here, I know the this, vari this variable, I know the hypotenuse, now I just have the sine of, of, uh, of phi in order to get. When I calculate this, I will get an answer of the sine of phi is equal to a ratio of 0 0.533. Now that's the ratio, that is the sine of phi. It is not the angle, it is the ratio of these two sides. In order to find out the sine of the uh, phi, and in order to find out the actual angle of phi, now I have to go into my calculator and use the inverse function of the sine. The inverse is the second button times, I mean second button and pressing the sine, it usually has a negative one on top. So the inverse of the ratio, 0.533, will give us the angle that we're after, and it'll give us as being 32.2 degrees. Now I have phi, and now I know this angle to be 32.2 degrees. Now finding the rest of the information is going to be pretty easy, but the, the key here element is once I find the ratio of two sides, use the inverse sign of that ratio to give you the degrees of that angle. Now I wish to find out theta. Well we do know that theta is going to be equal to 90 minus the phi degrees, 32.2 degrees. That's because every two angles in the right triangle must equal 180 degrees to complement along with the 90 degree here. So 90 degrees minus 32.2, and I get a theta equal to 57.8 degrees. Now I have my theta, and I'll mark it over here as 57.8 degrees. Well, that leaves us only with one side left, and that's side A. Now there's two ways of doing uh, the process to find out side A. One, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this. And second, I can also use a trigonometric function to find it. Let's do both to see if that does work. So let's go with our uh, Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, so let's do that over here. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. You all know this. What we're after here is to find out A by itself. Solving for A, A will be equal to the square root of C squared minus B squared. Now all I do is just plug my numbers into here, and I already know what side C is. That's 15 meters. So it's going to be times the square root, 15 meters squared minus the B portion, which is 8 meters squared. Solving for this, I'll get side A is equal to 
12.7 meters. Now I also can do another method for finding side A, and then I can use trig to find that out. For example, now that I have the theta, I can find the opposite of theta. And which one, uh, which of the trigonometric functions give me the opposite, especially up top? Well, sine equals opposite over the hypotenuse again. So that works really well. Also, tangent is equal to opposite over the adjacent. I can do either one of them. I'll pick the sine function. So here is sine of theta is equal to the side A that we're after over the hypotenuse, which is 15 point zero meters. And this looks pretty easy now. I can easily find it. I know what theta is. I know what the hypotenuse is. So I'm going to solve for A once more. A is going to be equal to the sine of theta, or the sine, and what is theta? 57.8 degrees and it's going to be times the hypotenuse, which is 15 meters. Multiply these two numbers, the sine of 57.8 times 15 meters, and you get a distance of 12.7. Same answer, same answer. Two different strategies for finding out the sides and angles given only two sides.